Bulls fans, we are back, and today we're going to be talking about the Chicago Bulls have uh, waived Marco Simonovic, and the news came out about three hours ago, but I couldn't really post because I, I had practice, but this is kind of a move that was expected by the Chicago Bulls, and by doing this, they get $1.8 million back, which I believe goes towards their salary cap, so if the Bulls wanted to use the $10.1 million disabled player exception, they will not be they won't go into the luxury tax so they won't have to worry about that but if they do use the six million dollar mid-level exception or the 4.5 million dollar biannual exception they will be going into the luxury tax if they use those and if they use that 10.1 million dollar disabled player exception but let's talk a little bit more about marco marco really never got any minutes and only played in the g league and when he played with the g league team the Windy City Bulls averaged about 15 points per game, 10 rebounds per game, and about 2 assists per game, which isn't pretty bad. He did improve over the last few years of playing in the G League, but I don't think he really met to that NBA level. And this was a move that was very expected by Bulls fans and just kind of the organization. I, I bet they've been kind of talking about this for a while. But he would only come in for like the NBA games to play for the Chicago Bulls. If we were getting blown out or if the Bulls were blowing out another team and he really not never got onto the court and he didn't average very good when he came onto the ME court. He didn't shoot the ball good. He didn't shoot the ball efficiently and he got dunked on a lot when he played on the NBA court and there was a lot of highlight moments on his head. But this opens a roster spot in which the Bulls can look to sign a Bull Bull or like a Darius Baisley type of player that could really bring a lot of different aspects to the team and different like a different role to the team and i think they could be good for the team but the bulls should have given io a three-year deal the same year they gave it to marco so they wouldn't really have to be worrying about losing io and trying to match whatever this that a team is going to give io or if io plans to resign with us and that's one other thing i'm about to talk about is couldn't is there an io extension coming soon or can we see that in the future with the Bulls waving Marco and they just got some money back so Io they could be they could offer Io a decent contract and he could be coming back to the the team it could be a one year contract or it could be multi year contract we never know but i think it was ex as very expected by the Chicago Bulls but i think it was a good move cuz we really not never got to see him on the NBA court and he didn't develop like crazy but i think that the Bulls made the right move here and we have more money now to really spend and look at free agents for us to get that can really improve this team and i think it was the right move but let me know what you guys think down below i personally think it was the right move let me know what you guys think but that is gonna be all for this one guys and you already know every video at the end of the video make sure you hit that sub button and see red bulls nation